I can guarantee you've never heard a story of an adventuring party like mine before. This story is filled to the brim with mysteries, wanderlust, intrigue, very questionable deeds, impromptu experiences, violence, love, magic, and of course, luck. Lady Luck was always tilted in our favor, even when things were dire. This I don't know. I guess we're, we're live now. Yeah. Yes. Um, what's up, everybody? How's it going? <laughs> we're doing it live. Uh, thanks for coming and stopping in with Girls Twenty Worlds. Uh, roll full up Wednesday nights. Um, we are uh going to do the damn thing. We're gonna continue our story uh on the um the wonderful arc that is the party, the ball, the uh, shenanigans that is to come, and possible dangers in coming too. So before we get into that, let's go around the table and see who we have and who uh, they are playing for the night. Uh, starting with Ava. The, hello, my darlings and dears. It's Mother Ava here. I'm playing Samir, the Oath of Fate, Paladin, Stormchild, Warlock Pact, both of this, you, she, her pronouns, and she is an Ergonasi having a time. A time. A time. A time was had. A time was had. Times were had. Um, Brie. Yep, that's me. That's my name. Um, who am I, and what do I play? Uh, I am Brie, and I play Nina. Um, we both use she, her, and they, them pronouns. Nina is a Pisces variant night skin. Um, Tempest cleric and also a rogue, um, and sh she is going to check on those little balls that she smuggled in. Yeah, totally normal, total, total normal sentence right there. Uh, DK. Nope, double muted, double muted. Oh, rip! Hi, hello. <laughs> Okay, uh, I play Sir Dizzy Morgane, who is a Feywild Water Genasi and Oath of Lore Paladin. Hell yeah. Uh, and hey, it's me. I am Variety Streamer. Uh, my name is Ryu. She they pronouns. I'm Variety Streamer. Probably more often now, because fuck MediaCom. Um, <laughs> and I'm also a technical producer here at Girls When World. Worlds. Uh, Chaos Mistress for Roll for Luck. Uh, as you can see, the wonderfulness that is the uh, people here. We are going to get into it. Uh, who wants double in spell for the recap? And of course, you could always just give it to me. Uh, I don't remember what happened last week, but um, I'm going to do my best because I don't want you to have it. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> Wild. Uh, okay, everyone. So what happened last week, class? Um, last week, we were at the ball, uh, and mm -hmm. we are still there. Fun fact. People don't know about that. Um, and we are... Uh, a lot happened. Um, I think in that session, Samir Sweet talked the man uh, who I know his name starts with J. I'm just gonna say it's James Jones Jameson. So, <laughs> Samir Sweet Talk James Jones Jameson into giving um, Lucky Deep about, <laughs> about uh, this is wild about you know her life, her and like what's going on with the um, what's what's that the pirate queen? So basically, Lucky's old ex first mate. Or ex like like right hand man or something is now working for the pirate p and the, the pirate queen and the pirate queen I think is maybe maybe Asterix doing war crimes we're not quite sure but basically he was like hey you know he, uh, he's alive fun fact but also he works there now that's his new occupation and uh, Lucky was like uh huh well 
Uh, that's information. Thank you, James Jones Jameson. Are you going to hurt my friend? If you hurt my friend, I will kill you. And James Jones Jameson was like, no, but you know what? Thanks for that. Um, I'm also pretty sure Lucky, like, thought that Samir, like, sold her soul, and, soul or something. And, like, Samir did not clear up that she just, like, offered to, like, go on a date with this man. Which, you know, is a choice. Um, and um, what else happened? So Nina found out information. No, not you made you made the connect. You oh, made the connect with the diamond, the, the pig diamond. Oh, <laughs> One of Samir's exes. I did do something very important. Oh my god! I was like, I don't know what she did. Um. So How many Nina, things? So first of all, Nina connected. I think I made a roll, and I think I connected with like thirteen people. So I technically have like thirteen connections in my pocket. But also, I made a connect with the pink diamonds, of course, because they're pink. Um, I did a very bold, risky move, and now I'm in with the uh, white dragon board, who seems really cool. Um, who was also maybe possibly some years ex. Um, <laughs> and um. What else? Um, Dizzy um, ran into Lady Stardust um, and, you know, uh, mentioned to Lady Stardust that there's like, hey, there's more guards for the queen. That's a little weird. Um, and essentially, Lady Stardust revealed that th they were informed that the people who came and sang the whiz maybe throw in their names in the ring for the crown. Um, you know that song, the green song. Um, and then just met this this person named uh Pariah Para Para Para. Uh, Dizzy met Para. Um, and Para was like, "Girl, your your friend, your dress looks fantastic. You look so good." And then Dizzy's like, "I know. Um, you also look good." And then uh, Para's like, yeah, it's giving very much not from here. And Dizzy's like, what a coincidence. It's because I'm not from here. And then um, they exchanged talks. Para was a little like, mm, I don't know when Dizzy revealed that like she's part of the Queen's like, or that they're part of the Queen's like, you know, group guard thing. And then Dizzy was really suave and was like, girl, my Queen is cool as fuck. Um, and would never hold that, hold you going for the crowd against you. So they were vibing. And then um, there, Samir got a smell in the air um, about um, some portal shit happening. Um, and then Dizzy was like, portal? And then immediately <laughs> sprung into action. And, and, and is now running towards the queen to figure out what's going on with these portals. And then Samir came and got Nina, and there was this brief, weird interaction, like eye contact between Samir's ex and also and, also, and Nina and Samir. Ooh. And now Nina is aware that there's portal shit happening, and Nina's like, let me check on those balls. Um, and that's what happened. <laughs> You should get three inspos for that. Just for that. I, I have <laughs> notes. I'll vote I have three. notes, but they're not as good as when Bree does it. <laughs> the only sm sm small corrections, Dizzy went to go get their parents. Uh, oh, yes. When Dizzy said, mom. Not right to the, no, yeah, I, I do remember that because Dizzy explicitly was like, I'm going to get my parents, actually. So, correction, not run yes. to the queen, absolutely ran towards their parents. Uh, yes, uh, double inspo for certain for this wonderful, wonderful week out. Uh, thank you. thank you so very much for that. Um, absolutely blessed. <laughs> every time. Um, okay, with that recap in mind, let me set a bit of the scene a little better for you. Nope, don't, don't, don't keep that in the video. Um, okay. Maybe I should move this. Should I move? I'm not going to move this because it's going to mess up my whole thing. All right. Balls are always a great occasion to mingle, relax, and have a good time. However, there is something just underneath the surface of smiles, masks of uh, the folk attending this grand ball. 
The sights and sounds of such an event are something to behold and cherish. Our ever vigilant sapphics have explored in, uh, the enchanting atmosphere and lively ambiance that fills the air at this extravagant gathering. As you step into the ballroom, a breathtaking sight awaits you. The venue instantly transports you to a world of luxury, elegance, and uh, with chandeliers that cast a warm and dazzling glow over the room um, as the walls are adorned with exquisite tapestries depicting historical houses and their significance to the crown. The marble floors reflect the light, creating a shimmering effect and adds to the splendor of our surroundings. Every detail is in place, including several humming small spheres placed around where hardly a soul will notice. As you make your way through the crowd, the sound of music fills your ears. A live orchestra and singers play enchanting melodies that sweep you off your feet. The guests gracefully move across the polished floor. Uh, their colorful gowns and tailored suits adding to the vibrancy of the scene. Laughter and conversation echo throughout the room as guests engage in deep discussions and lighthearted banter. The air is filled with the at atmosphere of joy and celebration as people from different walks of life come together to reveal uh, to revel in the festivities. We are moments away from the final throws of the ball. The great reveals from those using glamour uh, and the announcements of who will be uh, who will be beginning their campaigns for the crown in the near future. Just enough time to do a bit more mingling before the big finale, and less time still before the real party starts. Um. <laughs> so everyone has kind of. See me scattered with the uh, feeling of, uh, with everybody noticing Samir's urgency in terms of the feeling of the portal and Dizzy's urgency and the importance of what that could mean. Um, let's, let's check out uh, what is Samir heading off to do? She was with Lucky, um, finishing up the co um, conversation with Jaden. Name was Jaden. Jaden. <laughs> Jaden. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I don't even think I wrote that down. Uh, and going, I think she was going to end up meeting with Dizzy on how to proceed. Because she, I mean, she doesn't have her weapons. She could only, she, she rather. She doesn't have too much experience recently about portals, so she wants to fall back on maybe professionals, what they want to do in regards to portal shenanigans. So she's going to lean into that a bit more instead of like just wandering off with her head cut off type of vibes without weapons in hand. No. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, so you are trying to find uh, who exactly? Or, or do you have anyone Re in mind? Reconnect with uh, Dizzy um, heading towards her parents. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. You started so this way. You're like... I got lucky going towards Dizzy. <laughs> got you. Uh, Dizzy, uh, you said that you were heading off to uh, meet up with your parents, correct? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I'm yelling my mother's name in her head. Not mom. I'm yelling her name in her head. I'm just yelling Monday to get her attention. So she uh -huh. knows I'm coming. Okay. <laughs> there's a, um, there's a bit of a, a start, uh, but um, uh, you can see her and your father kind of um, uh, with her sitting uh, hand on a very elegant cane um, and your father standing right next to her, kind of uh, uh, talking amongst people, in, in, like in the vicinity, just uh, doing, you know, what people do at a ball. Uh, but there is uh, kind of an alertness that um, you will notice once you get close enough that your mother has, and then she reaches out to uh, your father. 
uh, who kind of uh, takes her hand and then looks around and then you come through the crowd. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm assuming something is going on. Yes, hi, hello, father, who uh, has spent most of his life working with the elements. Um, <laughs> what are the possible indicate indications of a planar disturbance, just out of curiosity? Let's say one near O here. Not a random question. Understood. Um, it just turns to the other guest and just says, "Excuse me," uh, and just says, "Why don't we just go discuss? Let's let's go over here," um, and uh, kind of helps your your mom up, uh, and y'all walk towards this uh, another balcony kind of situation uh, where there are a lot of people out there. But as soon as your father kind of gives a couple looks to a people uh, people in the area, they just kind of say, "Okay, well, there's somewhere else we need to be, I guess," um, and uh, it's it's very. Um, quick, fast, and in a hurry. There's only about three stragglers hanging about, um, but you are here. Um, and he uh, looks at at you and Samir, kind of this urgency, and it's just like, okay, so you need to know what happens when a disturbance starts? More like what what it could mean. It could mean a number of things. It could mean someone's showing off in the corner, or maybe they got a little too drunk, got too much. Um, teleportation is a thing, but also it's, it, if you're thinking, are you thinking teleportation or are you thinking portal? Plane. Plane. It felt like, also, hi, Uncle Eptide. Hi. On hi, Monday. Hi. Sorry. Um, yeah. <laughs> when we were in the Copeland Forest, there was a disturbance dealing with one of the avatars and a creature was trying to use the avatar to open, open a plane, like opening a rift. That energy I felt there, I just felt it. Um, it felt just like it. Okay. A portal of that strength would take something equal, if not more powerful to, well, I assume they were using an avatar is either an anchor or or um, you said you felt that now here in these walls in this surrounding building yes 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 um okay okay here's what i'm going to do you uh you and everyone that you know um need to probably get ready to evacuate um, and do it calmly because there's either A, either A, something is happening in a vicinity that we are unaware of, or something will happen. Okay. Um, so I need y'all to um, get as far away from here because if what I think is happening and what I think is happening is a new portal opening in this space, it's not going to be great for anyone inside. I just have one question. Just real quick. Whose kid do you think I am? <laughs> I risked, I, I, I sacrificed my life to save the avatar. So, um, if it's the same thing happening, I rather it I rather kick ass than leave, so to speak. I can hike the I have pants under here, so I'm not <laughs> just tuck it in. Believe me when I say I know whose kid you are, okay? And he shoots a, a kind of a, a glare to the to 
<laughs> to your mom. <laughs> and I know who's kid you are. <laughs> Shoot, to Clarice. So, yeah. I'm just saying there are there are levels to what you should be able to do. And right now, your level would be containing and evacuating, right? You, right? Well, I'll tell who I need to tell and we will get um, people looking for the disturbance that might be around. In the meantime, I need y'all to get to safety. I will also like to mention the being that trapped the uh, avatar was a Rakshasi, the back, backward hand tiger looking creature. I don't know if that would help. Um, I would need somebody to roll an insight check for me, please. Is it on my parents? <laughs> it's on your parents. It from very far away. <laughs> no. I have a plus four. <laughs> I think we have the same bonus. Oh yeah, we do. <laughs> It would have been so sweet if it was in that 20. That's a 23. 23. Okay. Uh, with a 23, um, uh, Monday shifts a bit uh, at the mention of a Rakshasa. Um, So I can already tell by the um, sparkle in your eye, darling, that you're not going to listen to your father. But please, when I tell you <laughs> the information that I have of connections to a Rakshasa and the recent portals in danger that has happened on Reloka alone is not great. So if you're telling me that all of these dots are connecting, then this is more or less above your pay grade for now. I'm not saying wow. can't figure it out later. I'm just saying first steps first, we tell the right people, we get these people out of this space. Do we just tell them to go home or is there a secondary location? We will have to figure it out. Don't have to go home, but they got to get the hell out of here. <sighs> How am I going to explain this? Okay. Um, it is about this time as you are all talking uh, amongst that um, Lola comes over the Thaumaturgy line and <laughs> just kind of exclaims, All right, all right, everyone, we are preparing for the last hurrah. Everybody gets your seats ready and your popcorn popping as we go through who's really who and who is jumping for the crown. She really needs to work on her pitch, but. Nina from the corner is like, That was bad. That was bad. Why would you say that? Why, why would you say it like that? But the same, it's been the same thing for several years. Like, what? You you haven't figured anything else? Uh, whatever. Um, Lola's trying her hardest. Um, she needs to take some improv classes. <laughs> wow. Um, She's workshopping. She's workshopping it. We're working. <laughs> our working area i love you lola but anyway anyway <laughs> um as you hear this announcement uh you continue on the balcony uh, to, uh nina what are you doing where are you i would just like to say that lola's speech is like the mac and cheese at thanksgiving you don't experiment the day of anyways um <laughs> 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 I <laughs> Uh, I'm checking in Why on my ball. Why you have to hurt me? Um, <laughs> so you need the improv classes. <laughs> I do 
he did draw I... classes. I also am the person that brings drinks and plates. So, uh, you know. <laughs> and that's important. That's important, honey. And you know what? That, that's so meaningful. Um, anyways, I'm going to check my phone. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Love that sentence. Okay. You should do that yearly. Yeah. You, your oh, ball, balls God. and your check balls, always. Um, okay. Where, what, how? <laughs> well, I know where they are, don't I? Or where they should be? You, you, I, it was several episodes, so I don't remember if you hid them or if you tossed them. Or like, no, I, <laughs> I hid them very, I rolled very well. I rolled very high and uh -huh. I delicately placed them uh -huh. in the doorways like I was sure. supposed to. I rolled uh -huh. like a 20 something, okay? You uh -huh. know? I deserve that. Okay. Um, so one, I would like to check to make sure they're still in the same spot. And if okay. they are, I just want to like inspect them. I do clerics have wait, do I have I just want to check to make sure they not like doing some weird crap. You know what I mean? Sure. Are they like giving off bad vibes? Bad Can I vibe check? Bad you do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, sure. Um, yeah, so, can I ask? <laughs> um, let's say you have placed the ball, the ball separately, uh, in three different locations, three different doors. It wouldn't be the front door. Well, you tell me, did you drop one as soon as you walked in before the stairs or no? Uh, no, I, I don't. I I think so my explicit explicit what I was told if I remember correctly so please keep me honest is that I was to place them um in uh what's it called in the doorways of the place so are there more than 3 doorways other than the front and back door there are more than 3 doorways but um you were just asked to put make sure that they reached uh door uh as many doorways like Important doorways. Okay. Well, I don't know what doorways lead to what. So I would have just chosen the first three doorways okay. that weren't the front door or the back door, if there is a back door in this place. Heard so I would like to go to the closest one to me. Closest one. We're going to call that one the um, the doorway that leads to the, gar the gardens. Um and you head towards uh, that doorway, and you, uh, it takes you, um, um, can you roll either a deception or, or persuasion? Yes, I'm going to add guidance to this. Uh, I don't, funny enough, I don't have a D4 ready, which is crazy. <laughs> That's a crazy thing to not have. Um, okay. Uh, per persuasion and deception are the same for me. So, okay. Uh, oh my gosh. Come on. Where is the D4? Okay, there we go. Uh, ooh. Okay, so that's, I rolled a 10 plus 3, which is 13 plus 5, which is 17. That sounds. 18? 18? No, 7. See, 18. It's 18. Yeah. I know how um, to do math. We got there. Um, okay. Um, and you were rolling which one? Uh, uh, perce uh, not perception. Persuasion. Persuasion. Okay. Uh, with persuasion, you are kind of doing a similar uh, to what you were doing earlier and just kind of lightly speaking with people and just kind of moving them and with their shoulder and just kind of looking over their shoulder to see behind them or like saying, Oh, give me a twirl girl. While you look at the ground around them while they do a twirl or something like that. And, um, you do find, uh, one of the balls that you have placed in this area. Uh, and yeah, it is still by the doorway. Um, is uh, it it's moving at all? Is it looking fishy? maybe uh how close are you getting to it is the question 
I well, I want to get close enough where I can cast detect magic. I don't know how close I have to be for detect magic. You actually don't have to be that close. I think oh. detect magic is thirty. Someone. Oh, you're right. Anybody? It is thirty. At, at least, yeah. Yeah. Um, I will say the room lights up. There's a lot of a lot of magic in this area, but um, it is lit as magic. So, what type of magic? Like, is the ball lighting up magic? And if yes. so, what type of magic? <laughs> Transmutation. Okay. Is now, that the one where it just changes to a thing? Am I? Conjuration? If you see the conjuration or transformation, I am very sorry. I don't know which one. <laughs> That's okay. I'm asking because. One, would Dizzy at any point, Dizzy or Samir at any point have told me what type of magic the portals is? Because I, um, I don't Nina think anybody's ever asked. Got a minus one <laughs> on her intelligence. So she wouldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't say that she would naturally know. I just couldn't. I, um, I can roll for it. But yeah. I just don't think. Because the only thing I could think of was like the orbs that were used to anchor the portal having a magic that we knew of from the redacted season, but I don't remember what magic that gave besides um, chaos. <laughs> I do remember that that gave off chaos magic, but... Um, but that's the only thing I could think of is just those, but... Yes, uh... This is okay. Transmutation, turn thing into other thing, conjuration, make thing go elsewhere. I love that. Uh, yeah, so I will say it's a it's a marriage of the oh, two. Oh, that's my bae. Hey, bae. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> uh, it would it would be a uh, mix of the two. Yes. Uh, it, but the Yeah, I think y'all probably would have done something with the orb itself from way back when, so Samir would have known that it is a mix of the two. Okay. Um, I don't know if Dizzy would have known about I do not think my team knows that. But, I, but you would know portal magic, and this doesn't seem like portal magic. Um, but it does. If Samir said anything about last orbs, it's very close. She probably would have, but I personally just forgot about them. And so I will essentially say she'll mention it, not thinking that they had a strong attachment to anything. So, okay. so fine. just for clarification, it the magic is similar, or the type of magic is similar. To those orbs, yes. Okay. Ooh. You do have a free message to send I, me. I was just about to say, I'm going to send a message. You were holding earlier. And were you thinking were earlier? <laughs> were you thinking earlier at all? No, I'm just I'm not going to do that to you. Uh, <laughs> Nina's head empty. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Nina, Nina's a bimbo, and I made her that way on purpose. Um, you know, you are true. You are telling the truth there. Um, so I'm going to send back to... Samir and be like, hey, so bad news? Question mark. Uh, the balls are the same type of magic, similar type of magic to the one that you described that, oh wait, who the hell am I? Hold on. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Did you forget character voice? <laughs> No, I completely forgot who I was for a second. Um, it was all the, it's all the wine. It's the expensive liquor at the ball. <laughs> we didn't we didn't do detect poison for that, so who knows? So my answer is like, who is? Like, who is that? <laughs> um. So like bad news, maybe. So like, you remember those balls that I totally slipped in? So. And you remember when you told me about like that magic that that weird orb thing that you found at some point had? Um, so it definitely seems like they have similar magic. So I'm not saying that they're the balls are the portals, but 
uh, what I am saying. The message cuts off. <laughs> it cuts off. What I am saying. <laughs> I'm going to do just like a very, I'm going to do a role for myself personally. Uh-huh. And I guess it's like, a, would it be like an insight or like, what? An insight, like a type of rule to un- like see if I knew what Nina was saying, because <laughs> it was like in that Nina draw. <laughs> I, would... I like to make things really long for no. What's reason. a deciphering check? <laughs> oh, no. I would like to say you should get advantage because you have known me for a long time. <laughs> this point, yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck is she saying? Um. <laughs> Shit, just roll a, a, a charisma check. Uh, okay. you know. <laughs> I no, this is a bad idea, so I'm not gonna much better. I... the entire show. What do you mean? Uh <laughs> Nina is probably 21. genuinely thinking 21. of the ramifications of like thicking these back up her hoo ha and what that could potentially do to her. <laughs> if if I remember anything from that redacted season, you are going to mul- you're going to triple class into wild magic, <laughs> like or Nina's just cease like, to exist. Nina's over here I haven't like, seen one doctor since we got to kiss. Okay, I don't. <laughs> they don't exist. There, there's none here. <laughs> None. We just have clerics with specializations, and I don't think there's any clerics that have the specialization. Clerics with specializations and half of them don't ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go back to Copeland. That's the only doctor we knew that did. Um, okay, um, she got a 21. <laughs> 21. Um, I would say yes, you'd be able to decipher that Nina uh, was probably going to finish that sentence was, it probably really wasn't, but it could be, but it might be nothing, but also, it's not my fault. That's exactly, okay. and hey, truer words have never been said, because that's correct. Um, how to best put this? How to best put this? Um, we have a friend who got a job offer to sneak something in, and she just said that the thing that she snuck in had similar magic vibes to the anchors that were holding the portal open that was in Copeland Forest. Uh, I I can feel your eye twitching, Dizzy. I feel it twitching right now. I'm trying to set, remain as calm as possible. Monday just I- puts her hand in her head. I would like to say while this is happening, Nina is like picking these up and is probably throwing them in the garden. <laughs> if if you if you touch this, I need. Are you touching it? With your bare hands. <laughs> are you touching it? I don't wear gloves. I don't think I'm wearing gloves. At least do some cleric shit about it to yourself before you touch Please. anything. <laughs> And you, as you, because you detect magic, you knew there's magic attached, and they really, they, they could be related to portal shenanigans. Can I, can I try to see how much HP this ball has? Is this mother's game? Do clerics get a spell just to, just to protect you? Do you get a spell for gloves? Uh, or just... uh, honestly, come back to me. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking. I'm Jesus thinking. Christ, I can't. <laughs> Something that is similar to the thing, and you're just telling us this now. She just told me. She just told me. <laughs> oh. I'll be back. Uh, <laughs> I, um, uh, uh, I, I hate to do this, but this is important. Do you? 
<laughs> what are the odds that the person who has the matching wording bond wing that I picked up and took off of somebody is at this party? Do you want them to be at the party? Yes. <laughs> I need you to roll a luck check. <laughs> Next time, just say no and be like, gotcha, and then it is what you want. <laughs> Fooled you. Um, I'm going to do high. That was the ruse. Hi. Surprise. 42. Um, you don't know. <laughs> okay, that's it. Come back to me later. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to check. I'm checking something real quick. You're just over here with somebody else's bomb. So funny to me. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sending, I'm sending a message to Nina, and all it's, all it is, is just, where the hell are you? <laughs> At the door by the gardens. Do you think if I cast spiritual weapon and use it like a little golf club, it'll outside the door, it'll be fine. She is. I'm. I. The door outside the garden. We need to go get her. She's like she is thinking Nina. She is thinking Nina. I'll be right back. <laughs> just hike up the dress and just power. Nina is like. Mm. <laughs> Nina is like. Nina is like. If I cast shatter. Will everything be okay? Like, <laughs> I would love it if you did that. An object can't do a constitution saving throw, so it would automatically fail, right? Yeah. Can, uh, can I do like something? No, nope, let her cook. Fast I get here. Let Wait, them I cook. Oh, I'm scared. I'm so scared. <laughs> this is not strong wine. <laughs> I don't know if they would get here before Nina made Nina. that decision. In the time that <laughs> you've been just going through any of your, of your capabilities and the message comes back from Samir, what do you do? Did Samir tell me explicitly not to do anything? Nope. It's in the voice. It's in the voice, though. <laughs> to be fair, it's in Samir's voice at all times. <laughs> If what hap if what is happening that I think is happening, it better not be. <laughs> That's her. This is bad. Um, and I shouldn't do this. Um, and I don't I uh ooh. Is the door to the garden open? Uh, yes. Oh, so we just let all the hot air out or the cold, cool air out? <laughs> just letting the uh, the air in and out as people just kind of, you know, going in and out towards the garden. Because it's, it's an enclosed kind of garden. So you walk it, it kind of walk through it a little bit. You say, oh, 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 how cute. And then you walk back into the party. Yeah. All right, that's a choice that we'll address later. Um, Nina is going to cast spiritual weapon, but is okay. going to cast. Oh no! No, no wait. No. Is there? Continue your sentence, please, and thank you. Were we told that like we can't cast magic in here? Oh. Okay. Cool. Um. <laughs> You were not because you know people have magic glamours and things on. Here's the thing. If somebody actually told Nina not to do this, like to do magic, then she wouldn't. But if nobody at the front door said it, anything, nobody um, said don't do it. Uh Nina is gonna um oh wait, actually. Mm -hmm. No, before I do that, because Nina actually has this prepared. Um I would hate to waste a le second level spell slot on this, but like, <laughs> is this a trap? She would probably cast fine traps to be like, is it safe for me to do this? 
What, Ooh, what are the word? What is the wording of find trap? Um, you sense the presence of any trap within range that has been line of sight. A trap for the purpose of this spell includes anything that would inflict a sudden or unexpected effect you consider harmful or undesirable, which was specifically intended as such by the creator. Its creator. Well, Thus, the spell would sense an area effect by the alarm spell, a glyph of warning, or a mechanical pit trap, but it would not reveal a nature weakness nature in a floor base. or unstable ceiling. You've uncovered my trap card because for sure uh, this thing <laughs> this thing and- on your trap uh, your trap spell, and I will also say it's not the only one. You know what's so funny? First of all, Fuck that. Second of all, you know what's so funny? I almost <laughs> didn't prepare that spell. And I literally only propelled that spell because you were like, no weapons. And I was like, well, let me just <laughs> use this spell that'll probably never be released. Isn't that always the case? I love that. Oh my God. Um, so wait, the balls are traps or like the The balls are considered a trap, and there are several others in the vicinity. Than the three that I smuggled in. Yep. Oh. Ooh, we need to get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get the fuck out and just. Everybody. We need to just build a new castle and put it somewhere else. <laughs> My stupid dad have... talking about evacuate when. <laughs> And now people have... want to stay because of the announcement. Oh my lord, this is going to be right. worse than Black Friday does, in the early 2000s. Does have the option to do uh, another thing before Samir gets here? Or if not, that's fine. I, I would say no, because about this time when you're just like going through your whole list of capabilities, you're like, mm, trap! Oh, shit! And then Samir pops up. <laughs> hey, girly! So bad. Don't news. you be saying, hey girly, what is Ooh. happening? What is happening um, very quickly? So guess what? Balls I smuggled in, traps, but I only smuggled in three. There are several. There's a lot. So there are other people who must have also smuggled in balls and they're all traps. So everyone needs to go now. I'm thinking destruction, because that'll get people out quickly. Hold real hold real quick. Was it was it Uncle Nina has her hand up for magic and she's like, okay. <laughs> Uncle Eptide was the one that left, correct? Yes. Okay. Sending a message to Uncle Eptide. Yes. My friend smuggled in three. She just found out they're all trapped, and there's several others that were smuggled in. We don't know all those locations, but that's what I know so far. <laughs> oh, you hear repeatedly, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> And I send that also to Dizzy with how her dad said, like, get the fuck out. <laughs> if at all possible, I would like to actually be directly behind my father when we both receive it. <laughs> so what we do with dad's like, shit! <laughs> so your mom turns to talk to you and just like, what? Yeah. <laughs> your mom's just left with Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> like, well. <laughs> well. I'm sure everything's fine. Um, <laughs> so, um, oh, okay, okay. Cool. Uh, you, <laughs> it is about this time uh, that uh, the announcements start. Um, um, Lola comes over the thaumaturgy. I don't know why I keep trying to say an intercom. We all know it's not. Um, <laughs> She can have an intercom if she wants to. No. Uh, <laughs> Thermaturgia. Um, um, all right, everyone. Now that we have started to unveil who's really who, um, it seems like there's, uh, you know, a few people that have, uh, you know, uh, uh, decided to come forward and say their piece. Uh, and they're going to give us a wonderful um beginning to their campaign trail so we but before we start with them let's uh give a round of applause to uh Kansiv, who will be doing the intro and uh, introduction uh uh this the queen's speech um as the queen you you know the obviously the reigning champion doesn't have to actually do it Kansiv will be 
um, uh, saying the queen's words to all of us here. So please gather around, gather around. Shit. Oh my God. Okay. I'm gonna get up on a table. Uh-huh. Uh, as Kansif is walking towards uh, center up front. So who, wait, actually, who is this? I'm so sorry. Oh, my bad. Kansif, uh, uh, hold, please. Um, also, if uh, I'm talking too much, please stop me. I'm just like... No, this I'm is... I'm Got the damn old gold. Thanks. Um, <laughs> here is a kind of... There you go. That's what Pensive looks like. Half orc curvy build. So is this cutie? Is this This is not someone anyone has met yet. Okay. That's what I wanted to see. Is this someone who's like doing the queen thing? The queen's speech. Pensive will be speaking it. Got it. I get up on a table. Okay. Okay. I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. Um, you have uh, what? What do you do? Uh, you have one chance before uh, either a the speech begins or b some people turn around and say, eh, you know. I, Nina screams, and is like. Everyone get the fuck out. Party's <laughs> over. <laughs> this place is trapped. If you don't believe me, clerics, wizards, <laughs> do your spell thing. Get the fuck out. Go. I thought you said Clarence. And I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> 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 Clarence. Clarence. <laughs> then you said wizards. Like, oh, clerics. Okay, got it. This place is trapped. If you don't believe me, that's your own life. Deuce it. <laughs> and then, can can I, I roll please, persuasion? I was going to say persuasion or performance. Um, can uh, I? I, I, I want to see if maybe I, I could help with like adding on to. <laughs> sure. What, what are we helping? What are we doing here? I would like Samir to push herself to maybe summon storms inside the building. <laughs> Jesus! It's stoning! It's stoning! <laughs> Nina jumps off the table! <laughs> I'm gonna just duck behind the corner for a little bit because I don't want people to perceive me doing this, but she wants to oh try to manifest the door. I... Ha- so many things are happening. Uncle told us to get out. <laughs> and we're kind of panicked. <laughs> You listen. Is helping. I don't. This is great. Um. Yes. Okay. You are trying to conjure a storm here. Lately, your training hasn't been conjuring; it has been controlling what is. So, I'm either going to need. No, no. Don't say it. Don't say I need, it. Don't I need a luck it. check. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. I need a luck check. It's possible, which is why I'm not saying within ten because yeah, that, I was, I was, I was no, worried no. that you it's were going to say that. Okay. Um. Uh, <laughs> low, 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 low. Uh, 53. It's a light breeze. I mean, a stronger breeze that comes through the door behind Nina. God damn it. (laughs) Of all the times for it to not... You are very... I will say you are very stressed. and Any other time. Any other time. Any other time. Um, But in this instance, you, you have realized that with your training, and I will say this outright, with your training, it's less about stress and more about your um, anger. anger. Yes. 
what if I say I'm getting angry? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to get angry. <laughs> I'm always The stress angry. is making me angry. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to roll persuasion. I'm going to, of course, add guidance because cleric things. Uh-huh. Sure. Sure. Uh-huh. It's cocked, so. Okay. Well, uncock it. I'm going to move this because. <laughs> I, I feel like I need a table. We're gonna roll. We're gonna do inspiration. That was a that was a two. I'm gonna use uh, my inspiration. Uh huh. Uh huh. Can I? Uh huh. Can I <laughs> use a, my last personal inspiration to test the bounds? And for my reasoning, I'm like, um, this is very much like Nina means business. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is outside of Nina's comfort zone. Nina don't really be looking out for people, but Nina's like, oh, I fucked up. Let me like try to fix. Let me try to take responsibility for my actions, knowing that it could actually put me at a detriment. And also I've made so many connections here made so many connections so many friends that have names and everything so many friends um, that have names and lives and backgrounds who knows uh what are you willing to trade in this moment to be able to push i will give you uh i have like a wrath of storm reaction so i will give you two of those bitches Ooh. we push you roll again. You have to keep this one. Nina, don't be... Come on. Come on, girl. <laughs> That's a 19. Okay. Okay. Plus. Uh, plus four, which is 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23. Plus five, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 28. Okay. That's, worth, that's worth two reactions. <laughs> Honestly, it is. <sighs> <laughs> Um, I'm 28, so I want everybody to go. <laughs> Please. But explicitly out the front door. Yes. Did I sense any balls at the front door? Um, um, hmm. That would be a me question to figure out how far away this garden door is from the front door. I if it's 30 hear. feet. Right. I'm going to roll something. Okay, cool. I'm going to roll. I would like to say detect magic is 30 feet, but find traps is 120. Then yes. Oh, there are ball there are balls at the front yep. door? If it's 120, yep. Bet. I'm breaking uh <laughs> I tell everyone to leave out of a window. <laughs> are there windows? I mean, yeah, but they're not open. Not all of them. Break, can I break a window with my fist? So that's okay. Like, no, I mean, there are so many things. That, okay. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> you told us things were happening, and we have very limited time. Of course, there's going to be things happening. <laughs> there's so many things happening. Okay. I will say, with your one action, you get the chance to you to um uh violently yell and get people's in your area uh, attention and um with the little gust behind your back um <laughs> kind of put fear into them and they do begin to kind of look around and look at who's ever you know uh more or less in charge in terms of guard looking folks uh and but then look back at you and see how uh uh, uh, urgent, you were saying this, and they to just start. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks, and start packing up. Uh, not really packing up, just like kind of picking up whatever they got, and then, yeah, uh, they are heading towards uh, any any open area. So you get about. I will say.
You get 10 people from this area out. How many? If on a, on a rough estimate, how many people do we have estimate. to evac- evacuate, give or take? Over 100. Jesus tits. <laughs> okay, 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 <laughs> okay, okay. It's like it's like at least at least two hundred people in this in this room. Um, an owl. That was a very low roll, but you are also yelling over in the corner. <laughs> so, so some other people that weren't in the vicinity, like right in their area, look over, see someone yelling, and just assume. You know, either it's part of the show or just something that they're not going to pay attention to. I'm just, I'm just, I don't know. No. Nina tried. Nina's leaving. Uh, Nina tried. <laughs> Nina's leaving. She tried. Okay. Um, In this time, Dizzy, Ebb Tide, what are y'all doing? Uh, seeing that this has not moved as many people as Nina would like, uh, I would like to reach into like the essentially the breastplate of my dress uh, and pull out the pipes of haunting. They said no weapons. They didn't say anything about instruments. Yeah, yeah. Please tell um, me what this does. <laughs> anyone within thirty feet of me needs to make a DC fifteen wisdom saving throw or become frightened of me. Uh. Anyone who's not hostile toward me will automatically succeed on the saving throw, and anyone that fails can repeat it at the end of their turns, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Basically, I want to Pied Piper this. Right. And I just want to walk through the crowd, and (laughs) my my hope is to frighten people out of the doors and away from me. Okay. 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 And so it's something that other people have to roll. Mm. I roll a performance. And also I will roll, what is it? You said a wisdom save? Yes. It's an 18. I don't have a great bonus to that. Um, so the good news is as you're walking through the crowd you get a good 25 people um, who are just immediately either frightened of the sound, frightened of of you maybe they get a visual of something mixed in with the the notes that you're um, pied piping Uh, and they, uh, they just start going the opposite direction, getting as far away from you as possible, close to the doors. Um, that's a good 20 so people as well. Okay. Samir. Now I'm just a weird dude with a flute at a ball. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I will say, and it's about this time that uh, uh, guards and uh, specifically Grim has started to notice um, all the commotion, especially when people are supposed to have their eyes forward uh, for the speeches. Samir. I'm trying to figure out what I need to do for this. <laughs> I think I want to try to do a Hail Mary and message to Queen. Okay. Um, Can you can you read message to me exactly? Yeah. I think it's someone you know, which is fine, but does it does it have anything in there about limitations? Limitations to mental blocks. 
You point your finger towards a creature within range and whisper a message to target and only target hears the message and you can reply in a whisper that only the, you can in and can reply in a whisper that only you can hear. You can cast this spell through solid objects if you're familiar with the target and know it's beyond the barrier. Magical silence, one foot of stone, one inch of common metal, a thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wood blocks the spell. The spell doesn't have to follow a straight line and can travel freely around corners or op um, through openings. Did any of that mention, is that mental or is it in their ear? It is essentially like a whisper. To so their... whisper in the ear, not a mental. Not a mental. Okay, then yes. The hysterical lady is correct. <laughs> <laughs> I am friends with Sir Dizzy Morgan, and what she says is true. I know what happened in Copeland. What's happening, what happened in Copeland is going to happen here. We need to get everyone to leave. Please trust me on this. And uh, she'll make sure to like also try her best to get eye contact with her to like to have her show that it is Samir trying to speak with her. Um mm, okay. <sighs> okay. You get back uh she begins scanning and then you get back We will try to, uh, we will get the evacuation orders out quickly. Um, we will get the evacuation orders out quickly. She'll give a curtsy and I think Samir is going to actually just end up going towards her family at this point to see if maybe she could <laughs> try to convince them to leave. God damn, <laughs> Grandma. Grandma's um, going to be the worst. <laughs> yeah. um, Dang old people. <laughs> uh, as, uh, <laughs> as Kansif uh, begins on the stage uh, to just kind of um, bring everybody else's attention and begins the speech, um, uh, not even a paragraph in and the queen kind of uh, touches her shoulder and just kind of whispers something. Kansiv um, rolls up the form, the paper uh, and just says um, due to unforeseen circumstances we are going to have to cut the party short. Uh, please exit in a uh, calm and, and organized fashion as uh, there are um, uh, 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 the festivities have been uh, they are moving outside so just please uh, if you there will be a show uh, a light show in the sky please exit and then we will um, uh, do the continuations of this sorry we called it early and they're just like trying desperately to like calmly get people to start exiting. Can I give them um, one of my inspos for persuasion? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see what they can do. I'll give an inspo for that. Especially since it's natural 20. Um. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. <laughs> um, well, uh, that is... Um, that will begin, uh, shuffling that got, uh, is 70-ish people out, uh, uh, or starting to walk out along with others that are just like, well, I mean, I guess, okay, there's a light show and sure. Um, uh, as you, as the people begin to start going out, there are at least, we'll say, We'll say 
there are 80 people have left the building. Nina, did you leave? Uh, if, if realistically, if Samir and um, Zizi haven't left, Nina wouldn't have, but mm -hmm. they would be ready to. They'd be okay. like, <laughs> <laughs> um, I I don't even have to ask this. Dizzy, did you leave? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> okay, Samir. Uh, you know, usually we're heading towards your family. Had you been able to move them quickly, would you leave? Let me check something real quick. Okay, sure. While Samir thinks, can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do I see Para anywhere, or actually, Para or any of my team members? Any of them? Um. Oh. Uh. Yes. Um. Uh. You see. Lord, hold on. <laughs> I also have my answer. Is it, so. the, is it the angel, the demon, the ghost? <laughs> it's the the, the devil, <laughs> Lady Stardust. The, that's the, the one. <laughs> uh, you see Stardust, um, and you, um, what was your question? Your teammate, and uh, you do see um, Para had moved towards the front to uh, put the. So Para is closer to the front of where everybody was. Also, my answer is Samir will look like she's heading out, but she wants to actually like remain back. Essentially, like okay. stealth, like try to slide a hand, just like oop, JK, maybe, maybe see if maybe she can get Jaden to help. Oh, to <laughs> like, help, you help you me, I will make out stay? with you. <laughs> wow, to help you stay or help you go? Help me stay. Okay. I'd like to think that Stardust and I have communicated silently enough times that I can signal her and just do some complex hand motion that means I need your fucking help right now. Okay. Uh, to just yeah. generally get her on board with what we're doing, moving people out. Uh, and then I'd like to actually find my way to Para. To Para. All right. Um, as you start making, uh, making your way towards Para and uh, signaling for Stardust, as um, Nina is uh, um, uh, kind of just, well, we're going to say you're still kind of screaming at people, get the fuck out! Um, and <laughs> Samir uh, is kind of uh, uh, escorting um, uh, some, some angry uh, family folk, uh, mostly just your grandmother. <laughs> um, in this moment, there is um, laughing coming from near the front where um, everyone was looking for people to start making their announcements. There's just maniacal laughing. <laughs> um, no bother. All the important ones are still here. And that's where we're gonna call for break. Um, Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky, when I catch you, what, Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky, <laughs> when I catch you, Ricky. <laughs> Thank you.
Hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you uh, for sticking around with us for our break and chilling with us for Roll for Luck Wednesday. It's here at Girls Wendy's World. Um, uh, please go check out all of the wonderful stuff that we have on our socials. In the meantime, in the between time, um, let's get back to the show. Um, before break, a laughter went through the air as uh, someone begins to walk forward. And it just seems like uh, uh, an average looking human uh, with a red mask on that is just laughing maniacally and clapping their hands as they kind of walk forward. In um, an instant, there are several people um, with official garb near surrounding and uh, be putting themselves between this person and the queen um, um, specifically. And then you see Grim going to Queen Thalia and putting herself between Thalia and this person. Um, as uh, everyone who, some people that were evacuating continue to evacuate or try to. Um, and the people that are more or less too far away from any exit are similarly kind of held captivated by this laughter. Surely it's a show put on. As this person continues and says everyone of importance is still here valiant effort truly but there is uh, something that needs to be finished here and what better place to do it than where everyone of power is right it's time to continue the party. So let's do that. Um, he snaps his fingers and anyone who is near the exits are thrown back inside. Uh, if they are, haven't made it outside the doors, they are thrown back inside as all the doors shut. It's okay. Everything will fall into place and everything will be as it was and as it needs to be. Thanks to your contributions here today. He snaps his other hand. And several of the balls that were in view or anybody that could have been like, hey, what's this thing? Several of them with a uh, a bit of a magical pop break the small balls that they were and become large spherical stone-shaped runes. Samir, these are the exact ones from Copeland. If you're anywhere near, which you are, you were near the door. You see three by the front door. Um, it's about this time that uh, because the doors have been slamming, because they are proclaiming themselves to be uh, about to do something. Several guards leap into action. And they are wiped out. I'm not done having fun. Don't worry about it. Just, just don't, no fodder. Okay. We just need one big one big go, all right. And and if honestly, if we're if I'm being honest, there's only about mm, 
about 18 of you that I really need. Everyone else is just kind of extra. So. Who's amongst you has so much energy within you that you just can't keep it contained? <laughs> so much power in you that you... I don't know. Had to hide it your entire life. This figure looks up towards Queen Thalia. Or at least the life that you pretend to keep. Does anyone do anything in this moment? Uh, <clears throat> sorry, wait, no. Let me give everyone else a chance. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I might end up doing some fuck shit, and I, I probably shouldn't. So somebody else, that's not me. It's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm planning on being sassy. Oh, no. <laughs> Here we go. So much power. Aren't you kind of showing that off right now? So why don't you just do it yourself? I am, in a way. Um, it is... a bit of a show. I was told that I need to stand out. A Real quick, more. I want to do a vibe check. I want to see if like the mannerisms are the same. I want to see if the mannerisms are the same. I want to know if this is the same one. Let me vibe check this person, please. Like, I'm doing it for me and I'm doing it for Ash. <laughs> it is a high insight. High insight. Because this person is doing very glamour. Well, While Samir is talking shit, I am very calmly behind my back digging a butter knife into the palm of my hand, uh, my goal is to draw blood. Okay. All right. Love it. I'm going to take one of the t um, table and spose just to do have an advantage just in case. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll use a table guidance. That copy sales. Okay. Not copy sales. I don't know if we'll make it uh, 26. Um, yeah, um, I would say it's very similar. It seems to be more flamboyant, whereas the last one was cocky, serious cocky. Stop. This one's putting on a show. I'm going to still break your fucking hands. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Um, so if nobody wants to uh, just volunteer, who wants to see a portal? Um, I have a quick question. Not me. Uh, not Nina. Sorry, but me, Brie. Yeah. Um, which way is this person facing? I imagine we're all at different ends of the room. So is he like, are they in the center or like? So they uh, are kind of up. Hey, hey, if you love the mind. Okay. How do I explain this? <laughs> I need a map. Lord. Okay. This is the doorway that Samir is standing next to where the stairs are okay. and everything. This is going to be the side where the doors are, where the garden is. This is probably where you're closer to, but you were heading towards the door where Samir is. Up front, it's going to be um, where the stage and, or, or the uh, lifted areas where all of the important folks were about to start speaking. Um, and uh, that would be where Dizzy and Eptide is. 
and Samir would be around this area, near that stage area, and this guy would be here, kind of seeing everything, because all the important people are to his right, forward, and towards the left of the door. Cool. So, what I would like to do is, um, well, I want to, like, make... Is it possible to make eye contact with Samir? And if this needs to be an insight check or something, that's fine. But I basically want to be like, should I attack this person? <laughs> like, 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 but with my eyes, like, should I, should, should that be what's happening? Because um, essentially Nina's trying not to like, just do things. Because just doing things has kind of gotten her in not a great place. God. <laughs> to consult people. But I... also, we're all on the opposite sides of the room. Yeah. Y'all are quite separated. Um, but I can, yeah, you could probably. I don't know, Samir, you tell me, are you looking away from this individual? Because Nina would be on your right. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Nina would be on your left. Yeah. Down below. To the left, to the left. <sighs> I think she'll try. I think personally, she'll try to do like a very quick glance around to see the positions of everyone else. And if she happens to catch Nina's line of sight, she'll pause for a bit. But that's, I think, the best I can really say for Samir. You catch Samir's eyes for a second. Can I send a message to Nina? Yes. If this is what I think it is, be cautious. They can avoid magic of specific strength. Like the bitch that they are. I don't. Samir doesn't say that. But I, I, want, I want this motherfucker to know that I, I say that. I. <laughs> Me, the players. <laughs> cool. Can I cast Call Lightning inside? Uh, well, <clears throat> sure can, I think. I don't think it just so has to be a space that can says you can't. The paperwork it, it, doesn't say you can't, so. <laughs> uh, and we've had worse things happen inside, so by all means, are you calling lightning uh, on to this individual? I am, and I'm going to use a channel of the divinity to do the maximum damage possible. Gotcha. Because it's a lightning spell. Um, hold, please. Not me not knowing how to. Sorry, I'm having to find my. There he is. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, what? That's not the button I pressed. Thank you. 
Um, <laughs> uh, sure. Okay. So what level? Uh, third, because it is a third level spell and that's the highest I have. Okay. Oh, did I not mark it up? Okay, there it is. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, you will... Uh, do I need to make a roll or do you make a roll? It is a dexterity saving throw. Dex save. is 15. Okay, gotcha. Uh, 15. Uh, nice, you rolling. <laughs> what? No, that was at advantage because reason. Uh, that oh. is an eighteen. Damn. So, so he takes fifteen. Um, mark off my gym as a penalty. Yes, and from so he takes. <laughs> why are you looking at me like that? Um, he takes. Um. Can you describe what it looks like as it hits uh, this person in the middle so, of the floor? Um, I would say, like, it looks like, I would say, honestly, probably similar to, like, uh, some year storm magic, where it's, like, um, kind of, like, accumulating, like, almost like in the fit of like tensions are high like a fit of emotion but mm -hmm. it's like uh almost like it's coming out from like air is coming in from like the windows and like the like like little drafts and it's forming this cloud and then it's um the lightning bolt is pink and that is a personal decision uh -huh, and then yeah. it's sort of like the sparks it's like pink sparkles, but they're very painful. <laughs> okay. Um, I will say as it hits, even under the slight movement that he makes to avoid the hit, even as it hits, um, it isn't as much damage as you think it should be at its full power because you put that extra oomph in it. But something that does happen is the um, the glamour flickers for a second. And can I do a quick insight in that <laughs> moment, or a per either an insight or perception or something, to see if I could see what it was when it flickered? Uh, yeah. Anybody that wants to, yes. Anybody that wants to can, yes. What, Would it be insight or perception? Uh, let's do perception. Be What's the role that's vengeance? For <laughs> <laughs> vengeance. I'm gonna roll guidance as well. Uh, okay, that's not great. Uh, okay, check it out. Sixteen total. Not twenty. Yeah. Okay. And you okay. said insight or perception? Uh, no, just perception. Oh, just perception. Then twenty-one. Um. Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, yeah, you all clock. Um. Uh. The backwards hands and form of the same rock saucer you fought, Samir. Uh, you'll have one action before he reacts to the attack. <laughs> What's up, Dizzy? <laughs> uh, as uh, the blood is pulling from my hand onto the floor, I am going to use my channel Divinity Evoke Insight. As an action, I recall information about a creature I can see. I learn a resistance or immunity and two of the following. I want to know how many hit points he has, and I want to know what his AC is. Uh, um, 
AC 18, hit points 200. Uh, and you said you learn all the resi uh, resistance immunities? or No, I learn a resistance or immunity. A just resistance one. or immunity? Um, mm -hmm. No resistances. Immune to non-magical attacks. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Man, I really wish I had my bow. <laughs> Can I do a prayer? <laughs> now close it just manifested for me. <laughs> if you want to do a do you a divine what you call it thingy, you have to uh, roll the percentage die under your current level. I don't I don't have that. I'm a, I'm not I'm a paladin, not a cleric. <laughs> Are you talking about divine intervention? That's a cleric oh, thing. Oh shit! I don't know. You just been making me do um like luck checks to see if I do a thing. Really. Yeah, yeah. Which is, uh, which is technically, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. Nation. Okay. Shit. Because <laughs> I know, I fucking know. I, re I remember. It's coming back to me now. Uh, mm -hmm. Fine. Right now. Yeah. I'll have, I'll have Witch Bolt prepared, I think. You said you don't have it, or you... I will have Witch Bolt prepared. So but... is that... So, if I, if you want me to throw it out now, I can... No, 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 no. What do you want? Witch bolt because I don't have weapons. <laughs> okay. You won't let All me right. have my weapons. <laughs> I yeah. Um witch bolt. Mm -hmm. Uh is that something I have to do or something you have to do? Uh it and is... what level? Technically it's second level because it's a warlock spell, so it goes up to second level. Um there's only so much magic I can do. Uh I am uh Mm -hmm. But it's a ranged spell attack, so. Mm hmm. You stress me out. <laughs> 15 plus 7 to hit. Yes? Okay. Yes. Cool. Um, it does hit. Please mark off the spell. It does nothing. I fucking figured. Um, based off of what was hit and what you just did, not affecting at all. Um, it's got to be third or higher. Well, I don't have that. The um. Okay. Those are your actions. <clears throat> in response, um, and, and this is, you are not alone, the only ones doing anything in this moment. In this moment, there are people beginning to uh, see, this is not part of the show. Uh, let's try to get out of these doors, these windows, some kind of way. There are people uh, rushing the exits. There are um, guards and such that are still trying to attack or defend um, against this person in the middle. And um, the uh, um, Grim is having a hard time. If anybody's looking towards the front, Grim is having a hard time getting Thalia to leave. Uh, Queen Aurora is also in the vicinity, but more forward than Thalia. And so are her guards. So there are things happening uh, in response. 
It's okay. I understand your um, frustration and need to lash out. Uh, don't misunderstand that there's not many other options here. And don't think I haven't clocked that in point to Samir. That interesting magic that you have there. I almost I remember you. I didn't get to break your hands the last time. But just like I stopped you last time, don't forget, I always find my mark. I'm sorry, that was so wonderful. Um, uh, the, this person, um, I mean, well, don't spoil it for everyone else. It's okay. I've been trying to catch up with you ever since you came back from that entrance. I know it must be so difficult to be jealous of someone who has friends in high places. Maybe get a better personality. That would hurt if I cared about personality. No. What I'm after is a few. But, and he turns towards um, Rathalia Six. She seems to still not want to come out and play. I wonder if I poked a little bit more um, and snaps his fingers and behind where everybody uh, uh, of the where all the guards and all the um, knights are that leads further in to the castle. There are three of those rooms, those spheres that show up behind them, near the door behind them. And as they pop up, um, there is, I need everyone to make, it's a pretty high perception check. Pretty high. That's not going to do it. It was a 16. Okay. 21. 21. Dirty 20. The sphere shows up. You're not able to catch something that happens in that moment. With every passing second, Dizzy, that pull of home, like the plain energy that would take you home tingles up your spine every time another one of those spheres those spheres show up. Samir. Every time one of those spheres show up, you have to hold down what feels like a lightning bolt that just wants to come out. Something about where you've been popping in and out, where you were in that cave, just keeps trying to come out. I need insight or perception from both of you. Dizzy, Samir. 
Can I do it at disadvantage? <laughs> <laughs> yes, she's sure. a night kid. <laughs> She's yeah, you know what? You know? Cool. Yeah, do it at your I, I, I just, I just want to be. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I love that for you. 22. 22. 22. 23. 23. Wait, 3, 4, 5. 15 at disadvantage. A 15 at disadvantage. Um, you are, you haven't been near, uh, I lied. You haven't been around a lot of plane and you aren't fully connected to another to have that spark. But there is a tug in your mind to where all the talk about portals kind of just, it's no longer a tickle that you feel behind the wall that is in your mind. It's like someone knocking on a door. This is terrible news, okay. (laughs) As for the other two, this, is about to be ground zero for another portal. Quick, very quick question. Mm -hmm. And this may fuck shit up. Would I have the werewolf Mm all from all the information that I've gotten so far and also from that moment of like feeling that like there is like a memory trying to like come out or like be let in or whatever. Mm -hmm. Would I have the wherewith all to try casting Lester Restoration on myself? I I would say at some point you were like going through your abilities and trying to discern something like that, but things were happening and you just kind of pushed it to the back of your mind. So if you wanted to do that in this moment, you could. Um, you don't know how strong that field is in your mental, but you could. I think I will risk a spell slot to do that. Okay. I think that's I think that's fair. Uh I will say above table. It would need to be stronger than a lesser. But you could always roll a luck check, call within ten. Oh, chicken nuggets. Um, <laughs> 72. Where's my, where's my D10? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Cupcake took it. Honestly? She might have. Because <laughs> not me. Oh, here it is. No, 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 no. Here, here, here. <laughs> what did I say? 72? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was not in the cards. That's a 34. It was not in the cards. Uh, try as hard as you are, uh, as hard as you can um, to break this mental lock uh, on your own mind. You're going to need something stronger. Okay, that's it. Were you? Yeah. There was a joke question that we kind of asked the other session and where is EC? I just EC, wanna... is, is, EC is with the other weapon <laughs> is he turned off right now or is he active um...
Because bonus. <laughs> if I am within this range. I, <laughs> I want to do a thing. <laughs> I would say if you were adamant about EC coming in and they checked him with the weapons, then he would have been turned off. But I could, you want a slide of hand, <laughs> slide of hand to turn him off at the time of putting him back with the weapons. I would love to. Uh -huh. I would love to attempt it. I have a uh -huh. plus two for sleight of hand. Of so course. We'll, speak, we'll see. We'll fucking see. Because <laughs> yeah. I have I argue, no other options. <laughs> can I argue that I would have touched her back and given her guidance? <laughs> <laughs> like, mm, girl. No, because y'all didn't walk in together. Oh, I could no, use a table guidance if everyone's okay with it. I'm going to use that table guidance. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. Twenty-one. Wait, no, hold on, hold on. Seventeen. Twenty-two, yeah. Um yeah, you he's checked with the rest of the weapons. Completely off. How, what's the range of he has to be with um with near me? Uh, it was either thirty or sixty. Am I within range? Have you moved from the stairs? Not or yet. The stairs areas? Not yet. Then yes. I want to do damage to myself. <laughs> what? <laughs> he comes when I'm in danger. If I'm in danger and draw enough to damage myself, surely he'll come through. <laughs> yes, you are very correct. Please do damage to yourself. <laughs> I think... Hmm. How would I do this to myself? <laughs> uh -huh. Damn, I, have, I have a lot of lightning-based stuff and I am resistant to it. Uh, yeah, well, actually, we'll we'll just shock and grasp myself. <laughs> it still hurts me. It just resists it. She's still ill. Um, uh, yeah, you uh, shock and grasp yourself. Um, and I don't think you have a teleportation. <laughs> I'm manifesting this. I'm manifesting. Not this. manifesting. Um. Something is happening in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Good. to clarify, it has to be stronger than a level three. Does that also include cantrips? Don't work. Remind me, please. Because I thought cantrips work. worked. Okay. No. Yeah. So yeah, I need. I can't do any magic stuff. Uh... Oh, thank goodness. That's just two damage. Yeah. Um. Something is happening in the background. You see, please bring my weapons. Please bring my weapons. Um, <laughs> we're bringing Lucky's weapon. <laughs> Turn this into with that motherfucker. <sighs> um, it is uh, about this moment that um, okay, no more beating around the bush. I know exactly what I'm here for. Everyone here is basically collateral damage. Here are the people that I need. Everyone else can leave. And he begins to name a few names. Para's name is called. Samir's name is called. Dahlia's name is called. And several others. You have one action. Each of us or just like? Yeah, each of us. Oh. One action. All right, I gotta think about it. <laughs> I need to double check this. Uh... 
Dizzy is now holding a pink colored staff that looks like it's made out of water, but it appears to be holding its shape. Uh, and there is still fluid dripping from her hand. For her action, she's going to cast Magic Weapon on her bow staff. Okay. I'm casting Huntress Mark. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I would like to bargain a little bit. Mm. Huntress Mark. Because okay. as it stands, Huntress Mark is only of when I make an attack. I currently don't have weapons to attack it. However, I would like to maybe extend it to other people who have weapons to attack it. So I would like to bargain. Uh, one perma DM and spell. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are we? What are we? What are we giving me? The DM and spells that you gave us during something something. I still. Oh, I thought you were giving me an inspo. Oh, I'm sad now. I'm okay. giving you one of the inspos that you gave me that I. Oh, that you're right. I Literally. Yes, I'm giving you as a bargain one of the inspos that I have. I don't think Ash would appreciate it if I give HP like I did the last time I fought this man. So, <laughs> inspo. It was it is. very great. It was very fine. Everything turned out. Unless wonderful. you can guarantee that the Avatar of the Forest is going to shoot down <laughs> and help a sister out. No. <laughs> There's so many. Uh, no. Um, I will accept this. Yes. Uh, so the Hunter's Mark takes, and I will, in exchange for that, give you three people that it can um, work for. Okay. I would like for it to, and it's three people besides me or including me in the hopes I get Beside away. you. Okay. Beside you. Okay. Dizzy. Um, ebb tide and one of uh, Dizzy's other knights. Uh, Dizzy, you can pick which one. Uh, actually, I would like to suggest Grim. Okay, so Grim can have it then. Okay. Uh, please write that down somewhere so we remember it for next week. Um, <laughs> so, Nina, you still have something, right? Yes. Yes. Um, I, uh, so I want to ask, and, I, and if it'll count as my action, then I don't want to do it. But uh, I wanted to see if I could roll, like, insight to see, or insight or perception, to just see, like, can I gauge if there is a way to stop this at this point? Like, does this man look, like, really cocky where it's, like, like I'm like, there is absolutely no way I could possibly stop this at this point. Or is it kind of like there is like you know does that make sense? I don't know. Uh, so you want an ins like a uh, kind of a an insight check kind of thing to gauge his uh ability to gauge if he's just he's already won? Yeah. Or do you want yeah, like basically, like from his perception, like is it kind of like uh, because we have got like basically we are too far gone for like for things to be stopped, or is it kind of like you know, obviously he's not going to reveal in his eyes that there is like a way to stop this, but like <laughs> right, like but like there's a difference between like oh I have it all, or if it, like I most likely have it all. You wouldn't even have to roll. This is pure. Everything is 
exactly as it's supposed to be in his eyes. You wouldn't even have to roll for that. Got you. It is many- cool, calm, collected, cocky, lean, waving at everything coming towards him. Got you. Um, do I have a gauge that in order for this to work, this has to be an enclosed space? Like, ha- yeah, he has made it. Ooh. Um... Because he's essentially, like, trapped us all here. Like, it's kind of, like, a forced enclo- enclosure. Right. So I'm like, is that necessary to this ritual? I I, I need you to... it For that, it would be an intelligence check. I'm trying to think of what else it possibly could be. It's got to be an intelligent checker. Mm. Perception? Insight? Uh... Intelligence check or a... Or an insight, but it's a high insight. (laughs) Is it a low intelligence check? No, but it uh, the inside is higher. I'm going to do the inside. Okay. Um, I may end up using an inspiration. I am using a guidance. Just want to put that out there. But I'm using all. Up... <laughs> okay. Are y'all down okay. to two now? I want to use uh, inspiration. That was a. How many do y'all have left? Well, I used all of my personal ones. Okay, so I have a cool question. What are the permanent DM inspos? What are those? Uh, Probably ones that I've given y'all in the past. Mm-hmm. Okay, can I use one of those? We also have five uh, table inspos left. Oh, then I'll use one of those. And depending on how it goes tonight, I will... <laughs> I'll buy several more. <laughs> That's a 15 uh, plus 1, which is 16, plus 10, which is 26 insight. 26 insight. Yes. Um, I have a point every, to my insight. Every time despair hits, uh, or sorry, every time he snaps his hands, uh, snaps his fingers, and the spheres show up or pop out or anything, you see several people that are being affected by this. Uh, in one way or another. Um, The people that he named, damn near light up with something every time another sphere pops out. It's less about the enclosed space and more about them being within no spheres. Oh, this isn't good. I, well, then I want my action to be, so above board, um, uh, I want to, if possible, I want to destroy his hands, but I don't want it to be graphic because I know that that is a, um, you know, Mm Mm-hmm safety thing so right so i just want to express that that's what i want to do cool how are we going about what are we using how are we Um, doing (laughs) i have uh i want to cast a third level hammer of smite that sounds very strong what is this um it is a hammer of divine energy also props to ava giving us access to uh all of your compendium shit because this is not in the (laughs) um a hammer of divine energy forms in your hands from your deity and can be thrown within the same action make a ranged spell attack on a hit the damage deals 2d8 radiant damage the player chooses the damage before uh casting um the care the character 
I can read. The creature, mm -hmm. your target, must make a dexterity saving throw. On success, they take half damage or full damage on failed save. Now, granted, I know this is not going to kill him. I don't know what HP his hands have. So... Roll your attack. This is at level three, correct? This is at level three. I'm casting it at level three, at least. It's a level two spell, but I'm casting it as level three. And you have to make a ranged spell attack. Roll your attack. So one thing I would like to say, it is con the language is confusing because uh -huh. it says a ranged. Oh, I think it depends if I throw it or not. Yeah, if you throw oh, wait, it, it's no a ranged spell. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna throw it because I don't think I have enough rage to <laughs> run at this man. <laughs> I don't think I can just run at this man. Um, what was what was it? What was it? Plus, plus, ooh, plus seven. Ooh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I would like to use it as I'm so sorry. I would, <laughs> it could be one of my spells. I feel so it was this close to being a nat 20. I'm like so good. It rolled over. Oh. Welcome, Raiders. Everything is perfectly fine, I promise. <laughs> you said you wanted to use one of yours, Bree. Yes. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Uh what's 14 plus 7? 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, uh, 19, 20, really 20, 21, <laughs> 21. That's 21 yeah. total. Okay, so yeah, so <gasps> <laughs> and what kind of damage is this again? Radiant? It is radiant. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then it's the damage increases by 1d8 for every spell slot above second. So it'll be 3d8. Okay. Um, Roll your damage. Now I have a I have a question for you, Ryu. Yes. And for this, I will so I have a channel divinity that allows me to do maximum damage, but it's for lightning or thunder. If you let me use it for this, I will give you the rest of my wrath of the storm, which is two more. So I will have no wrath of this, like no reaction, essentially. <laughs> um Paint me a a visual picture of uh, what that looks like of you giving up something to alter its abilities to power. So, lightning and thunder are within my natural abilities, but um, I'm also a night skin, and um, I also have the. Uh, I'm kind of naturally blessed with the like radiance and like the night sky of like my deity um insert name here because I don't remember. <laughs> um so I think I imagine that I am like trying to push myself to try to like revert the harm that I have done. And in so doing that, I, I imagine that Nina's like Skin is like turning the dark night sky and as she's turning into like her uh as she's utilizing like her like night skin form and she's almost like trading one power for another and like just like praying to her god that it hits and that it does the job um how much damage is that uh what's three times eight 24 <laughs> Is that enough HP for hand? <laughs> um, I or a finger, the the, the <laughs> snapping finger, the snapping fingers, the at least all hand. hand. <laughs> what's, this, what's this? The middle finger, the the uh, thumb, and the middle finger. I will say, um, without uh, too much graphicsness. Uh, that you do, in fact, um, harm uh, very deeply uh, one of the uh, hands of this being. 
And as you do so, the glamour drops uh, fully in this moment. As uh, a Rakshasa stands before everyone, holding its, one of its hands uh, and looks up and glares at you. You're not well. taking my friend, bitch. <laughs> and that's what we're going to call it. Um, <laughs> that's, that's what we're going to call it. for that guys. last line. <laughs> that's so wonderful. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, thank you all so much. Thank you for the raids, the love, the follows, the wonderfulness that y'all uh, shared with us here at Real Full Up Wednesday on Girls Twenties Worlds. Uh, let's go around the table and see who everyone is and where we can find them uh, between now and next week. Um, and yeah, uh, uh, starting with Ava. Hello, my darlings and dears. It's your mother Ava here with a vendetta against Rio. Um, you can find me anywhere <laughs> at Madam Ava Couture, mainly on Twitter, but I'm essentially everywhere at this point. Uh, for this week, I need to put, get my calendar real quick. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! On <laughs> Friday, I'm gonna be on Women of D and D on their channel at 9:30 p.m. EST for their game Witches and Spellcraft. We're raising money for MAP um, Medical Assistance for Palestine. So go and support that on Saturday. You'll see me in two places. You'll see me on Exquisite Corpse at 10 a.m. for a um, win the, um, and comes for like their Halloween related one shots. And we're raising money during those one shots for Take This. Um, and then you'll find me back here on Girls in These Worlds uh, at 8 p.m. EST for the return of the fight on um, fight with spirit. And then lastly, you'll see me usually on Sundays at Exquisite Corpse for the Thirsty Sword Lesbian campaign where I played Anxious Daughter of King Arthur. Anyway, goodbye, good night. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> uh wonderful. Uh Bree. Unlike uh, my very Ava, Ava, I do not have that interesting of a life. Hi, I'm Bree. I'm normally Bree. When I'm not Bree, I'm the non-existent voice, uh, voice and void, um, just ahead floating in the air. Um, or I'm playing Yo Tool on uh, uh, Neo Challenge Channel, Pillared University, Historically Black Magical School. Right now we are on hiatus, but we will be back in a couple weeks. So please look out for that. You can also find me at the link tree links in my link tree below. Um, and that is it. And don't mess with Nina's friend. She's growing and she's ready to fight. And that's it. Goodbye. She's soups ready to fight. Um, DK. Hi, hello. That is me. I am DK. You can find me here or over at Exquisite Corpse Presents. I'll be there Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday morning. Uh, and then again on Tuesday night for a weird indie artsy game called Triptych that has a lot of dark secrets involved and takes place in the late 90s. And I'm sure that doesn't mean anything at all. Um, yeah, that's those are the two places that I will be. And if I'm not there, don't come looking for me. Bye. Uh, uh, hey, it's me. Uh, hey, my name is Ryu. I am a variety streamer. Now when I want to, because my internet might be back. We'll see. Um, and I'm also a Chaos Mistress here for Roll for Luck. Uh, you can catch me here uh, behind the scenes on a lot of things, either actually behind the scenes or behind the scenes 12 miles away from having to fix it. Um, and you can also see me Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern as I will be playing with Arnica here on Girls in These Worlds uh, for Orbital Blues. And that's going to be a real fun uh, space cowboy shenanigans. Guess who's your fly boy? It me. It, it me. Um, and... Yeah, so definitely come back and check us out uh, next week um, as uh, we may or may not be probably going to be putting a close to the chapter of Roll for Luck this go-round. Um, between now and next week, however, uh, Orbital Blues will be at 11 a.m. Eastern here uh, and come uh, check out a moody space western by Soul Muppet Studios, the crew of Cargo Transport. La Bamba has quick side stop 
uh, to make at the Outlaw Hospital, Sharon. Um, and don't forget the Holiday One Shot Creator app is still open for a little bit. Uh, come and tell your uh, cozy, spooky, jolly, wild stories over the holidays. Um, it's going to be a good time. And yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe here. Like, subscribe on YouTube and watch those hours because we need you to. Okay. Okay. I didn't press my button. Okay, bye. Have a good one. <laughs>